In this video I'm going to paint with the acrylic brushes in Procreate. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, Dutch illustrator and animator. And in this video I'm going to answer some questions because there's also a community tab on my YouTube channel. So when you tap on community, I post some uh, images and some polls of what you really would like to see on this uh, YouTube channel. Now I've got some questions and we're going to start out with uh, one question. It, it's by Robin Crawford and I asked in the poll uh, what you would like to see and he would like to see some uh, basics of drawing and painting, step-by-step -step painting and painting similar to some of the artists on YouTube that I do acrylic painting. Sometimes I watch those channels and then I'll try to figure out which brushes in Procreate you'll give me the same effect. And that's really what I would like to see from you if possible. So what he really would like to see is how I paint things in Procreate and maybe do some acrylic paint and just show which brushes I'm using. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. For this demonstration, I'm going to use an old sketch I did for a project I was working on and I never uh, finished it. It's uh, a children's book about Cubby the Lion and this is, this is Cubby the Lion. And I um, made um, a whole series of illustrations uh, with Cubby the Lion for Inktober in 2016, I think. And I'll leave a link in the description box down below. But I made this sketch and with this sketch I'm going to use the acrylic paint brushes and you can find them uh, when you go to artistic and there you can find uh, the acrylic brush and the wet acrylic and I'm also going to use the Kaczynski ink which is uh, a brush that has a little bit more of a structure to it and because you're working in uh, Procreate and it's of course a uh, software where you can use uh, several layers. So this is the sketch layer and I'm just going to set the opacity to 50%. So this is a guide for the painting I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to uh, drag it underneath and you can just drag it like this and then it's underneath your sketch. The first thing I'm going to do is paint the background and I'm going to use uh, the biggest brush and I think I'm just going to use the acrylic and just gonna see if I still have, I also made a template for Cubby um, the lion and you can find that when you uh, go to the color menu and then press on the color menu it's on the right side and there you see the palettes now another swatch palette is set to default but when you press on set default then you have it in all of the different tabs of the color menu so this is the rgb and these are the values with the RGB and HSB sliders. But I really like the disc so you can, you know, change your colors uh, much more easy. And I'm first going to paint the sky. So I'm just selecting the blue and I'm going to set the brush to 100%. And I'm just going to turn the canvas and just paint in or block out the colors. So this is the background and I'm not gonna totally fill it because I like the semi-transparency of this. So this is the first color and underneath it will be a little bit lighter but maybe it's sunset. So I'm gonna set the color to a little bit of um, a yellow tone. And 
and there's a little difference in the acrylic brush and the wet acrylic. The wet acrylic will um, take up or drag the other colors into, because it's a wet mix brush. So it will also pick up um, the colors that are already on your canvas. So this is the basic color of the, the sky. And I need a little bit of a yellow greenish uh, background because uh, these are the meadows. And just gonna paint over the characters as well. It's just blocking out the colors. And when you do this on paper, you know, you can also do this and just fill out the, the shapes because uh, acrylics uh, is an opaque medium you can work with. And I'm also going to need a little bit of a green. And this swatches palette I already created to do some other uh, paintings as well. So that's why I have all of these colors already set. Here's going to be a little bit more green and I'm now painting with the wet acrylic. So with that you can, you know, mix your colors a little bit better. I'm just applying a very light pressure to my Apple Pencil. So when you press harder, you get more paint. And this is just an underpainting. And with that, you know, you can build up your painting. So now I'm gonna switch to view again. And most important thing about doing a painting is where the light comes from and Maybe it's um, great if the light is coming from the left because this is the father of Kabi the lion and you know he can drop a shadow onto Kabi the lion because um, his father is pretty mad. So you can also use that, you know, to, to enhance the story, to make it more of a menace or a dangerous situation. I'm not gonna create a new layer and that is for the foreground. And I'm just gonna block out the characters first or maybe even better the stones that they are standing on. And I'm gonna use the acrylics because that is a little bit more opaque than the wet acrylic. And it's just, you know, blocking out the colors. So these are the basic colors. And later I'm going to add the shadows and also the values of the colors. I'm just using the, the sketch as a guide.
And I'm gonna paint it in um, a yellow for the lions. First, uh, the basic shapes. And here is copy the lion. And his tail, it's very small. I'm gonna set the sketch to multiply. And I'm just gonna turn it off just to work on blocking out the colors. it's not really opaque there's another little trick for it as well because because this is on a separate layer you can also duplicate it by swiping to the left and then choose duplicate and now it's more opaque and you can merge them down by pressing on uh, the layer and select merge down or you can do it with two fingers by pinching them in then it's one layer again now the paint is a lot more opaque and now it doesn't look like much yet but you know that's you have to trust the process. I'm going to turn on the sketch layer again. And I'm going to block out some colors behind it. In the background there and I'm just going to name it background layer you can do that by pressing on the layer and then on rename and then you can tap in the title of your layer so now i've finished uh, the basic setup of the foreground and the background and now I can paint in some more details and I'm going to think about the light is coming from the left of the painting. So everything to the right will be darker. I'm first going to uh, paint in some more details of the characters. Just zoom in and maybe it's now better to use the wet acrylic mix because that blends a little bit better than uh, the acrylic brush. I'm gonna set the sketch to maybe 20%. So I'm still having an indication of where everything is. Because you have to define all the shapes with your paints. 
It has a little bit of a white nose. Also, his father. No, and it's just blocking out the colors. Maybe some white on the nose as well. It's just like, you know, gradually building up your painting. I'm now creating a darker value of the same color. So I'm going to use that because the light is coming from the left. So these parts will be darker. I'm first doing the the big shapes and later you know you can add the details and you know that's a great way of building up your colors so you don't have any white gaps and you know the paint just flows into other colors as well then you get a lot more of a richer palette to work from And this part is really dark because the light is coming from, whoops, from here. So this is some rocks. These are some rocks he is standing on. And this part is going to be even darker because it is in the shadow. I'm still using the wet acrylic brush.
When you're painting with the iPad Pro, it's always best, you know, to clean the surface and it's best if you turn it off so that you can see the stains because the Apple Pencil is very sensitive and if there is some grease on your screen, you'll get a little bumps when you're doing more refined artwork. So I'm just using a cloth which has uh, is quite soft and it's especially for uh, cleaning screens. So now I can turn it on again and start painting. I'm still on uh, layer three and I'm just gonna name it. Foreground. And the way I have set it up is that I can um, select colors with my finger. And you can change that in the preference tab when you go to advanced gesture controls, there you can select uh, the way you use your Apple Pencil and you use the touch. And I have the eyedropper set to touch. When you press on the X in the upper right corner, you return to the, the canvas. And I'm still using the wet acrylic because with the wet acrylic you can blend a little bit more. And also if you have the color wheel, when you pinch it out with two fingers, you have a lot more control over all the values in your color. So the sun is coming from the left, so it shines onto his face. And also these will create highlights and also some rim lights because it's just hitting from behind. So you can paint it uh, a little bit lighter. And that's just a rim. You cannot see it uh, just now because I still have the uh, sketch layer selected. So when I turn it off, you know, you really can see the true colors you're working on. I changed uh, the colors of the stones because it blended too much and this is a different kind of color, you know, that works pretty good. I'm going to refine the edges a little bit more and I'm going to um, zoom in a little bit more on to the characters and make the brushes smaller. So then you can, you know, define the shapes a little bit more. So here I drew uh, the last part of the image and now I'm going to blend everything because this is too detailed. What you can do if you draw something de too detailed, you can either paint over it or you can use um, 
a blur. And I've set this background to uh, a separate layer. So what you can do is tap on the adjustments uh, menu and then choose Gaussian Blur. And when you swipe from left to right, you can make it a real big blur, but I just need a tiny blur. So now it's too detailed. So around 8%, maybe even a little bit more, maybe 9% or 10. Nine percent will do because the focus needs to be on the two lions. So I'm going to turn off the the sketch layer, and now I'm going to uh, do some finishing touches to bring the fore and background a little bit more together. So I'm going to create a new layer for that. The reason why I'm doing this is because when you make a mistake, you know, you won't ruin the rest of your painting. I'm going to use the Kaczynski ink because that has a little bit more of a structure. Also, I have to draw in some grass here, but it has to be some broad strokes to create it. I'm working from back to front. Now I'm going to use uh, one more layer and that's for uh, doing the shadows because I need uh, the father of Kabi needs to drop a shadow onto him. And I create a new layer and that's going to be on top of the foreground layer. And I'm going to set it to multiply. I'm going to use the wet acrylic brush and this I'm going to paint in gray with no color. So the shadow falls up here and not in the background so I need to paint it inside Cubby. It also drops onto the stones. I'm 
also the face of his father um, is in shadow. Or oh, maybe not this part. Because when you paint, you always have to think of the shape you're uh, drawing. And this is a round shape. And of course, his nose sticks out. So the light will fall onto his nose, but not onto his snout. Also, his teeth. And his mouth is darker. That's the great thing about, you know, painting digital is that you can work in layers. So I'm going to paint the rest of the body because it's also in shadow. And that shade that falls onto the stone, that's even darker. Maybe use the smudge tool, smudge it out a little. And the smudge tool works very well with uh, the wet acrylic because it's uh, the same brush I'm using that I'm painting with. Going back to the layer of Copy the Lion and I'm going to paint a little bit of a line so to separate his arm from the rest of his body. It just needs to be subtle. Maybe a darker color. Don't like this color. So the painting is now finished. And this is how you can use the uh, acrylic brushes to paint an illustration for a children's book. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. In that way you won't miss a single video. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles. If you want to learn everything about Procreate 4, you can now buy the video manual. It's called Procreate 4 Video Manual and it's available on iBooks and Vimeo On Demand.